coffee in a container. <laughs> Doesn't look that much on the outside, but inside. How beautiful. <laughs> yes, David, that would be in a way you can pose in the bathroom, David. They're showing us the tour. The bathroom wasn't actually that good. There wasn't any hot water. Maybe not, but that doesn't matter. It's 30 odd degrees, so it does have air conditioning and a fan, so very nice. And maybe $15, no, $14 for this one. And it comes with its own cat. The road outside is crazy as ever. I used to walk three children along this, I don't know how. But you never know what you might meet. There'd be no visit without a stopover at this place, Vijaya Beach. Been going here since 1986. This was their original little cabana. Such wonderful memories of this place. Where this special lady used to carry her breakfast up the coconut tree for me. Then in 2001, we we're back with three children, and the cabana had changed a bit. Very beautiful. The beach always recognisable by Toad Rock. Quick visit 2018. And now 2023. And its restaurant still has that great vibe. <laughs> now to face the traffic again and head down to Downtown Unawatuna. We spent the rest of the day exploring Unawatuna village. And of course the beach. After a lovely breakfast with Ginger, we're back on the bus. Bound first for Wellagama. After a quick bite, we had a look at the house we're supposed to house sit for in 2020. Wollagama, a lovely little beach village, even though it looks like there's high rises happening in the future. New ugly place. High rise in the middle of Wollagama. These are the sticks that the original stick fishermen used to sit on, you see in all the postcards. But really, it's only a tourist attraction these days. And back on yet another bus, we're off to Marissa. After walking the village, we decided to take an Airbnb as we needed a little bit of relaxation. And did it deliver? Outside. Off just off the road, there's this little oasis we booked for the night. We decided to splurge out. Not met with the beautiful fruit juice. Nothing 
to explore the village and the local temple. Yeah, temple and Bower Tree. And the sea. It's quite a Bower Tree. Bower Tree. Hi. Is this a temple? It's on the seaside. We even found an Aldi. So many fishermen out in this small little bay. But they all seem to be doing okay. The catch for the day seemed to be sardines, which everyone was selling on the side of the road. We have turtles in Turtle Bay. It's a little bit rough, Another fishing boat being launched. We found Turtle Bay with the health of the turtle and it's too rough for turtles at the moment, but we heard there was a beautiful point where you could get a great view. But lots of people were turning back. There didn't seem to be a road, it seemed to be closed. But we're pretty determined and we found a way through. And past a sleeping security man. Just up the road from the surfing wombats, we had our tea at the Chinese place. And that's it for today. We'll see what tomorrow brings in Matra. <laughs>